Welcome to K Catalog, your Tuglish Korean compilation. This channel intends to teach the Korean language in Tagalog or Tuglish and will be following the Korean Immigration and Integration Program or KIIP course outline. If you're new to this channel, baka gusto mong i-check yung previous lesson natin. Also, you may hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. If you have watched my previous videos and come this far, or bago ka sa channel na to, I suggest that you have a pen and paper or anything that you can use to jot down some notes and at the same time magagamit mo pag nag-practice tayo ng writing. We are now on the third part of our basic level. And it's still all about Hangul or Korean alphabet. So recall muna natin yung mga natutunan natin during our previous lesson. In part 1, we've learned about the 10 dan moum or single vowels. And then in part 2, we've learned about our 14 jaum or consonants. Wherein na discuss din natin kung paano magkocombine ng consonant and vowel to form a syllabic unit. And from there, we were able to read simple Korean words and at the same time, Tagalog words na sinulat natin in Korean. And this time, for the third part of our basic level, we're going to learn about the 11 ijung moum or yung ating combined vowel. So, part siya ng complex vowel and consonant. From part 1 or yung unang lesson natin, I've mentioned about the monophthong vowel which is one letter is equal to one sound. Now we have the 11 ijung moum or yung tinatawag nating diphthong vowel. So diphthong vowel, two letters is equal to one sound. So ibig sabihin, you have to combine two different letters to produce a specific sound. Here are the 11 ijung moum. So if you'll notice, meron ulit tayong mga pictures sa tabi to show the position of your lips para mas madali nating mapabanggit or mapoproduce yung bawat sound. So unahin natin again, ang reading is from left to right. So we have e, eh, ye, yeah, e, eh, ye, yeah, wa, we, we, wo, we, we. Uy. So if you notice, halos magkakapareho yung sound nila. And dahil nga diphthong vowel sila, each character is composed of combined two letters. So isa-isahin natin. Here we have the vowel E. So it's a combination of vowels A and E. And yung sound niya, same siya when we pronounce the word cat, apple, or daddy. So again, A, E. And then we have Ye. So, it's just the same when we say ye. Yeah. Here, pinag-combine si vowel ya yeah and si vowel e. So, again, that's ye, yeah, ye. Yeah. Then, we have e, eh, combination of vowels o and e. Again, we pronounce this as e. Eh. Then, we have ye, yeah, combination of vowels yo and e, ye. Yeah. Now, we have wa. So, this one, combination of vowels o and a, wa. Now we have the vowel we, so a combination of vowel o and vowel e. So if titingnan nyo mabuti yung itsura ng bibig, we, we. Next slide, ito din another we, but this time combination of vowel o and vowel e. We din yung banggit sa kanya, pero if papansin ninyo yung picture natin this time, mas nakasara yung bibig. Now we have wo, combination of vowels u and o. So, ang banggit sa kanya is wa, for example, one, wall, water. So, if mapapansin nyo, yung naka-highlight na letter is yung W. Because what we are trying to produce is the sound of W. Wa, wa. Then, we have we. So, again, it's another we, katulad lang nung dalawang nauna. But this time, it's a combination of vowels u and e. Again, that's we, we. Next, we have we. We. Combination of vowels U and E. Again, that's we. And then last, we have Uy. Uy. Combination of vowels U and E. Uy. So you have to memorize each letters to avoid confusion. Here I have some syllabic units, so all you have to do is try to read and write them. So if you have your pen and paper with you, much better. I'll be leaving this slide for about 15 to 20 seconds. Or if you think you need more time, pwede mo naman siyang i-pause and then when you're ready, you just play it again and the next slide will show you the correct answer. Now, 
Now you can check your answer and see if the same tayo. Now let's try to read again from left to right. We have se, ye, ge, he, gua, we, dwe, nuo, we, dwi, ui. Now let's practice some more. Again, repeat after me. Number one, e, ye. Number two, wa, gua. Number three, we, ui. Number four, dwi, dwi. Number five, wo, wa. Number six, ge, ge. Number seven, we, we. Number eight. Jua, je. Number nine, se, swa. Jarhet sayo. This time, listening naman tayo. Again, answer will be revealed right after each slide. So, number one, wo, wo. Number two, we, we. Number three, dwi, dwi. Next, number four, ge, ge. Number five, we, we. Number six, hua, hua. Now it's time for our vocabulary. Let's try to read. Shi ge, shi ge. So, if maalala nyo yung sa consonant lesson natin, si shiyot, dalawa yung sound value niya. So, pwede siyang S, pwede din siyang SH. So, nagiging SH lang siya kapag nasa unahan siyang letter and ang kasunod niya is the vowel E, kagaya dito sa first word natin, shigye. Next, we have sagwa. Sagwa. Here, first letter din is si shiyot. But the sound value this time is S. Because this time, nasa unahan nga siya, pero ang kasunod niya naman na letter is A, and hindi si vowel E. Next, we have ge. Ge. And then, we have dweji. Dweji. Then, we have huesa. Huesa. Ibig sabihin yan, company. Next, uisa. Uisa. And then, gawi. Gawi. Last, gui, gui. For this slide, we have uija, uija. Next, cake, cake. Next, camera, camera. Last, guaja, guaja. Now let's check the word cake. So, cake is just one of the many words na borrowed in English. So, ibig sabihin, wala silang specific word for cake in Korean. So, as is yung pangalan niya na ini-spell nila in Korean. So, let's check the difference. Tagalog and English are almost the same when it comes to spelling system. So, A, B, C, alphabet, tayo naman abakada. So, kapag in-spell natin, hindi siya masyadong nagkakaiba. So, kagaya nung nandito sa slide, kapag in-spell natin yung cake sa Tagalog, we have K-E-Y-K. And isang syllable lang siya, cake. Ganun din sa English. So, spell ng cake in English is C-A-K-E and it falls in one syllable, cake. But in Korean, when you spell it, it will become three syllables. So, we have K-E-K. K-E-K and then we will read that ng mabilis, K-K. So, medyo different siya, no? And then, napansin niya ba na na-stress yung last part or yung last syllable, K-K. You will find it strange at first and medyo awkward siyang basahin but you'll get the hang of it when you are more familiar with the Korean language and their writing system. Now let me show you how to write these complex vowels. Remember that these are diphthong vowels which means combination of letters formed into one character. And again, kapag susulat tayo, hindi pwedeng mag-isa lang natin isusulat yung isang character. So, kahit na sabihin nating combination siya ng two letters, again, it's just one character. And we do not write one character alone. 
we have to write them in pair. And so, dito na ulit papasok si consonant E. And that's it for the third part of our basic level. I hope you've been practicing our previous lessons. And if you have questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to put it in the comment box below. So before we end, let me flash again these Korean proverbs that I've been sharing since lesson 1 and I hope na memorize nyo na siya. Shijagi banida. This means, a good beginning is half the battle. Or, well begun is half done. I hope you find this channel helpful and if na-appreciate mo siya, kindly hit like and subscribe. You might also like to share para dun sa mga kakilala nyo na gusto rin or interested sa Korean language. So I'll see you on my next videos and thanks for watching!